Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys have this question, right? What is the spread of your relics? You know, what are some of the relics that you can obtain? What's the probability of you getting like a flawless, superior, elite, whatever, right? So I've done quite a few runs and I've recorded whatever that I could. So I've done this recording over a period of time, but the thing is I haven't actually been recording every single one of my runs. So only when I realized that, oh, I need to record, then I'll just like, you know, do 10 runs and then record, do 10 runs and then record. And obviously these are all just six star relics. So 465 six star relics since I started, which is about 700 over runs. That's about it. So as you can see, I have collected up to 465 relics or rather six star relics. And I've also recorded all of the elites, all of the superiors and all of the flaws and all that. So I actually recorded some other stuff like, you know, what's the spread of your slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, all the way to your Mui 2 as well. But I realized very quickly that they are actually very evenly spread. So for example, a 6 of your relics would always be slot 1, a 6 of your relics would always be slot 2, slot 3, slot 4, blah blah blah. So that's about it. So I've decided to stop recording that so that it saves me a little bit more time and makes it a little bit easier for me to do this recording as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the details. So as you can see, out of 465 runs, I've only obtained 37 flawless relics, which is less than 10%. In fact, it's somewhere around 8% of all of my runs, or rather all of my 6-star relics that will be flawless, and 26.24% of them will be superior, and about 66% of them will be elite. Now, this is also going to be something that's a little bit more important. So over here, I have flat attack adjusted, flat HP adjusted, and flat defense adjusted. Now, you might be wondering what's with the adjusted over there, right? So I'm accounting for the fact that, you know, your first three relics, right? Slot 1, slot 3, and Mui slot 1. Okay, I'll just call them 1, 3, and 5 from now on okay it's, it's a lot easier that way they will always be flat stats so because of that we need to account for those in how we are going to you know calculate how often your slot 2 slot 4 and slot 6 relics would have flat stats so this is just basically it so here are the number of slot 2 4 sixes that were flats so for example i have 33 of them who were flat attack I have 50 of them who are flat HP and I have 25 of them who are flat defense. Now, obviously there is like some spread over here. I'm not sure exactly why HP is more prominent than like attack and defense, but it is what it is. Now, some of you guys might be also very interested. How often do your slot six drop speed, right? And the answer is out of 465, only nine of them, which is about 4% of the time that you're only going to get a speed relic and crit damage and crit rate are super rare. So this is really quite surprising. I didn't know that crit rate was so rare. But yeah, crit damage and crit rate, I think they have about the same rate over here. Probably equal, it could just be down to dumb luck that is a 6 and a 5. And then moving on, we have attack percentage, HP percentage, and defense percentage, which is 40, 31, and 21 out of 465. So here are all the percentages over here. So assuming that we have the relic rate up event coming soon, right? Based on the stamina that you have and the number of runs that you can do on like, let's say K10, a10 or F10, whichever you prefer, you can use that number of runs to multiply with like all the rates here and you will get a better idea of how many flawless pieces you're gonna get. And of course you can make it even more comprehensive by multiplying like let's say flawless and speed to calculate what is the probability of you getting a flawless speed relic, right? So for example, um, let's say we, we are looking at a, like a random relic set. We are not actually focused on a particular set. So for example, you want a flawless speed relic, right? So what you have to do is to just one times 7.96 multiplied by 3.87. And that will give you like the percentage probability of you obtaining a flawless speed relic. Now, obviously this number is going to be super small. It's a 0.31 percentage chance of you getting a speed Speed flawless relic that is super small like basically every 300 or so six star relics that you obtain which is about every 450 runs you'll be able to obtain one flawless speed relic and that's not even accounting for the specific relic set that you need so for example if you need like a fiery relic with speed subs or maybe you need like an avatar with speed subs the probability will be even much smaller so hopefully you guys know how to use this sheet to your own advantage or rather to your own knowledge and to you know set expectations of what you're going to get yourself into when doing Doing some relic farming especially during a relic event where you have 1.5 times more relic drops even then you still need to make sure that your expectations are right so that you do not feel disappointed by your actions now i will not upload this onto my public spreadsheet for now until i probably get this to about 600 total relics so i yeah, just want to make sure that you guys understand that oh and i also want to add that a lot of you guys might seem like oh wow the rates are so poor therefore you know this is like not the game for me and all that kind of stuff right the truth is all games are grindy to a certain extent 
and this light is definitely one of them any game that has like a gear system a relic system it's always going to function this way and to some of you guys that might suck a lot but to a lot of the other players especially me right i love it a lot so i love it because this allows me to do statistic videos like this this also allows me to feel lucky when i do get lucky right outside of the real world of course so there is still some kind of joy some kind of fun some kind of sadistic fun in like you know finding something lucky which is not something that you would always be able to obtain in some other gacha so like for example world flipper which i covered before that was not a game that you could get lucky besides you know getting new units from the banner so this also allows you to set yourself apart from other players and this also allows you to use your rare espers to their fullest potential because you have relics that back them up a lot so like for example there are drew jean freddy etc etc there are so many rare espers that would benefit from really good relics and obviously that takes time to grind obviously you're gonna be very cucked along the way but at the end of the day it's gonna be very worth it when you finally get that 25% crit damage that 24 speeds up or like whatever it be right so yeah just keep it up keep up the grind and just close your mind to like bad relics and all that kind of stuff that's not very healthy for your mindset so my advice for you is to not have expectations of what you're gonna get from like let's say 10 runs or like for example 100 or even a thousand runs right don't set any expectations and when you finally go through your relic inventory you're going to be surprised by what you find now with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up it really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content now this has been daddy free to play and as always i will see you in the next video